Excuse me, sir. I just wanted to say how great it was seeing someone stand up against those soldiers. Don't you work for the governor? I do indeed. I am Rowan Ilbert, the Cheryl family butler. Well, you really stuck it to them earlier. They should be ashamed of themselves for attacking civilians. Let alone kidnap women and children. At least they scattered off afterwards. I guess they're not used to having someone challenge them. They did seem a bit disorganized. Maybe their morale is low. That may very well play a part. But the main reason they ran off is because they hadn't been ordered to kill us. If they had, would they have done it? Even despite their misgivings? That's what soldiers do. That's what all grown-ups do. Working isn't supposed to be easy. I guess so. I think that was a missable side scene and you had to do that right away. Uh... Uh, crap, I just deleted that from my list. What's it called? Military Secrets. I think that was the thing. Yeah, Military Secrets. So yeah, just make sure you go and talk to those people right over here. There's no real... I didn't really see any exclamation mark or anything. But that's a missable side quest right there. So, uh, go and make sure you do that. I was gonna get that after a bit of talking. So yeah, you know, we're separate now. And, uh, we're going through... The, uh, Talese Hyde Road now. With Jude. So this is the part <laughs> where I mentioned that. And this is also the reason why I mentioned that me I went through this area with Mila beforehand. Because <laughs> I knew this happened, and uh, on my previous playthroughs with Mila, I actually didn't even clip Fort Gondala with her on this side, and later on you want to go jump back there eventually for some uh, for an easy access point for more side quest stuff. Because, uh, yeah. Anyways, we got Talese High Road here. I know we're heavy into story now, we have to go save Mila and such, but I am going to be quickly going through this area for its treasures, since I haven't actually been in here yet. Um, any level ups we do get uh, when a character's out of the party will be accounted for when we get the party members back. They'll be gaining levels uh, outside the party, so when we get back, um, Mila and Elise, they'll have a bunch of Lilium Orbs to... Uh, You'll have a bunch of expansions on the uh, Lilium Orbs to do and all that fun stuff, so it's not a big, huge deal for them to not be in the party. It's not going to be the perfect amount. Like, if we do a lot of fighting, they will be left behind a little bit, but uh, for right now, it's fine, but uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, shut up, Alvin. You're just complaining about everything. But, uh, yeah, so we're just gonna quickly go through the Talese High Road, grabbing all the treasures and eye-free treasures and such. Uh, there's, I think there's either three or four sections in this? So one, I think, I think it's three. Uh, ah, we can't see more, because we don't have more unlocked yet. Uh, oh, there was a new shiny back there. I know it's near the skeleton dude, but, uh, yeah. Um, there we go, got it. Am I being chased? No, I'm not being chased. Cool. I'm going to be avoiding most of the fights that I can right now, though, just because it's annoying because we only have three party members and these battles aren't reduced. So, uh... They're going to be tougher than they normally would because we're, uh, we're down to three party members instead of four. Um... Um... So, uh, for those of you wondering, I will... I do mention... I did the Mila recording for this already, so uh, I, everything is all, the, all done there and I've caught up to a point of... They're combining past the point. I don't know. The stories converge at one point inside the dungeon, and that's where I record it up to. Um, that's a bit of a spoiler, but whatever. I don't care. Uh, it, if you, yeah, whatever. Um, yeah. So, who was I talking about? I have no idea. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to be avoiding most of the fighting just because, meh, I don't really want to fight the stuff in here. Uh, the next dungeon isn't too, too difficult. Um, I, it was pretty easy going, although that, yeah, this, you'll see it in the Mila playthrough. I'm going to stop talking about that and save that for the actual playthrough. But, uh, yeah, I prepared both sides equally, so, uh, I did, like, knowing this came up, I didn't purposefully deck out uh, Jude's team for this playthrough and Mila's team for the other, I balanced it evenly as if they were not really, if, as if I didn't know about it. Uh, so Mila's got good equipment, uh, comparable with Jude actually, and so does Elise and such. Actually, I think Elise has the weakest of the armor just because I didn't have enough money to buy her more, but uh, 
I think that's the only difference, so, uh, yeah. Uh, I did get the eye free treasure in the last area, didn't I? Yes, I did. Good. I didn't re I remember seeing it, so, ah! Bird. Um, I do believe we have to come back here for side quests later, so, uh, I'll probably fight some stuff when I'm there, because uh, those skeleton dudes are kind of annoying. I find it funny that if you're climbing on a vine or a cliff and they just clip through your body, they're physically touching you, but they can't enter a battle because you're on the vine or whatever. It's one of my favorite things. It's especially funny against, like, flying enemies. Because you'll be climbing a vine, you'll be halfway up the vine, and then their body will just clip through you. And it, it just goes for a long time. It's hilarious to me. Yoink! Okay, another treasure chest with an Aldivide. Aldivides are pretty cool items. I have never used one in this game. <laughs> I used them judiciously in uh, Vesperia and a couple times of graces, I think. But I've never used one in this game. Uh, basically what it does is it takes every amount of damage that would be dealt, either, dam uh, either attack or healing, uh, is cut in half. So it basically doubles the length of a fight. Uh, basically is what it does, but in the same regard, if you're getting killed really quickly and you uh, need uh, like, like it can help you out in the long term because uh, especially if they're if you're getting attacked, like if you're in the middle of a fight and you get all attacked by a super move and then all of a sudden it gets killed, like if you wanted to go fight uh, the uh, fell beast I showed off in the last time at a lower level than what I was saying before, you could well, you can walk into there, pop an all divide, and then you'll be dealing, getting half damaged, and you can just do a longer drawn out fight, and just sort of uh, tank all the damage you can. Basically, it's sort of it's sort of the idea of tanking the damage, right? Wear out the opponent over a longer period of time, but you have to be make sure you're decked out with healing items and such. So be prepared to fight the long battle, and you can fight it, but. Uh, they're more designed for like the really really tough boss fights and such so that's the sort of idea behind an all divide it's a very tactical item ah crap I ran into a chicken whatever this thing's called oh god it's the first fight with Jude it's a chirpy and a filifolia thingy uh who am I gonna link with Alvin I've already linked with Alvin a couple times let's link with Rowan Rowan and uh, Jude have some unique uh, abilities so let's set up our skills here Demon Fist um uh, do, do, do. uh, Jude is the healer again, so I'm gonna throw healer on, but... Uh, what else do we have here? We have Cerberus Strike. Is this the only- are those the only two we have? Crap. You know what, I'm just gonna... I don't know why I removed everything. I'm just gonna put them all back on what they were. Um... I love this music, man. I just love this music! It's amazing! Um, let's see, the up attacks, I think we had Soaring Vortex, and Talon Storm's that one, I th meaning Swallow Dance? We have Palm Strike now, um, Palm Strike is a very cool move, I like it a lot, but I think it's usually on the down, so I'm gonna put it on, I'm going off of what I normally use, because if I start, if I don't put it on these things, like, uh, what was happening with Cerberus Strike, actually. Uh, I was trying to use Cerberus Strike a couple times, and all of a sudden I'll just pop it left. Actually, there was another attack, too. The healer, I popped it a couple times by accident, because I kept trying to push down to do stuff, like, uh... Like, POP STRIKE! So, uh, well, uh... Oh, these guys are all resistant to Earth. Crap. Crap. I don't think... Uh, oh, Rowan's partner skill. Right, I haven't used Rowan as a link partner yet. Auto Magic Guard. If you choose Rowan as a partner, whenever an enemy attacks with a spirit art, Rowan will activate Magic Guard on you to automatically guard against the art. While the Magic Guard effect is active, you can move. Uh, you can continue to move freely. Rowan makes a great link partner when battling with Dexterity or Art. Uh, psych. That's Psychic. That's Psych. Magic type foes who frequently use spirit arts. So, he's good for wizards. Wizard versus wizard. Rowan's a wizard. Uh, to the top left of this area is Fort Gondala and the way we need to go for the storyline, but there are items and such up on the high ground and another area south of here. So we are going to quickly go through. Um, there's another eye free treasure in the next area. Um, 
and that should be that. But, uh... Yes. So, for those of you following along with the Mila playthrough, I've already gone through this area with Mila. I did it before coming here, as I mentioned here. Because I knew, just because... I just knew that Mila... I knew this one was empty. I knew it was empty. Damn it. Uh, um... I knew Mila wouldn't be able to get another chance for a long time to get back here, so, uh... I just wanted to get it out of the way, because I knew it would, uh, uneven the levels. Actually, I think Muju is going to be higher level after this. Oh, no, I'm, I'm, a fight, I'm avoiding a lot of the fights, though. <clears throat> um, I don't know. Well, I, I'll judge the levels later on when we actually get, like, going with that, so... I'm not really worried about level balancing. Um... Uh, Right, that's what I was talking about. I leveled out the equipment and all the skills and everything from Mila's playthrough. I mentioned that before. Um, so, uh... Yeah. I showed you all the equipment I had before, but I didn't show you the skills, I guess. Whatever. But, um, I equipped all the same equipment, all the same skills and everything. So Mila and Elise are about the same as, uh... Mysterious Jewel there. Uh, about the same as, uh... Uh, they, they are in my playthrough. Like, they're the same. They're, they're as close as they can be in two separate playthroughs. I'll just put it that way, with the way I'm working things. Minus all the extra items I have, because the... Ah, skeleton. Minus, because I think I got the max 99 items on the other character, on the other game. But, uh... don't think items are that big of a deal in that, because, yeah. This is a good healer. Doesn't use items that often, so... You! I don't want to fight any of you. Uh, the enemies here are actually quite uh, quite good. Like, they're a little bit tougher than the other enemies in the other areas right now. So if you wanted to do a little bit of grinding before heading off into, like, other areas that we were already in, uh, like, if you want to... before you go to hit Barmia Gorge or something, if you're kind of low level, might want to go in here and, uh, grind out a little bit, because these guys will give a little bit more experience than the guys at Barmia Gorge. The uh, downside is these guys are apparently resistant to Earth, so... And the other guys over in Brimley Gorge are not. Um... But... Oh, I think I want to go and step into a fight. I want to see their weakness, because, uh... The next step of weapons after this is actually a set of wind weapons. I noticed that. Oh, they're water. Okay, they're weak against water. Meaning... Yeah! Yeah! Go! Yeah! I better not do that repeatedly. These guys actually don't resist the, uh, fist, so... Splash Beam! Oh, that's perfect! Power hits all the ground! Yes! So that's one of the, uh, spirit arts that, uh, Rowan, or linked arts that Rowan and, uh, Jude can do, so... Just take Splash and turn it into a cannon, and a water gun-esque thing. It's kind of cool. Um... Yeah, anyways, we're gonna get more storyline, move on, we're getting to the next area and do some fun stuff. We're finally moving on. Yus! So this is Fort Gandala. It looks like a steel castle. It was built to protect the trade routes, ostensibly anyway. But now it would seem they have abandoned all pretense. So how do we get in touch with your man on the inside? Follow me. Jude, I need you to climb into that shaft. Tap on the wall once. Twice, and then twice again. If you hear three taps followed by one, that means everything is ready. Got the go sign. Good. Let's proceed. Wake up, Mila. Please open your eyes. <sighs> Thank goodness. Where are we? A 
so. We've been taken to Fort Gondala. I see. You decided to finally wake up. How dare you trap us in here? I am Gilland, Deputy Chief of Staff for the Rashagal Military. <laughs> Call yourself what you will. You're just another of Nautical's dogs. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. There's something I'd like to ask you. You stole the key to our device, yes? What device? And I hear you hid it somewhere, correct? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> On your feet! Out of the cell! Move! Now, let's try this again. Where did you hide the key? What key? Look at your ankles. That woman was wearing the same device. If you pass through that hex zone while wearing it, well, you saw what happened. You won't get away with such brutality. It's a violation of the Sapstrath Convention. Now where is the key? You're wasting your time. You don't care what happens to your friend here? Your threats are meaningless to me, human. I have no fear of death, or injury, or loss. Go ahead and push me through. Push us all through. Maybe then you'll see I'm not kidding. Preparations for the experiment are complete. I leave the prisoners to you. Make her tell us where the key is, or else. Yes, sir! Start talking! <laughs> What's wrong? Your boss left you a big job and you have no idea how to accomplish it? Why not start with a full body search? You'll learn quickly I don't have this key on me. Fine. Not the sharpest blade in the Rashigal military, are you? Now let's see if the hostage strategy works on your comrades. Drop your weapons. I've had enough of this place. Drissel. I don't suppose you can wield a sword. I figured. Elise, you look after her. I can't! Not without Tipo! What? I need Tipo to fight! It's okay. I can look after myself. Don't cry, Ellie. I'll protect you. Let's go! Very well. We'll need to get these shackles off first. Right. Hmm. We'll need a key or some means of deactivating it. We'll find our solution, and find Tipo as well. <laughs> 